Hey guys, what's going on? It's Klaus and thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to be having a discussionary video on engineering, ethical upgrading, and rushed accounts. The discussion is what's the difference? We're going to be defining them. We're going to be showing you guys the advantages and the disadvantages of each of these upgrading strategies and also maybe a little bit of my own opinion. So I have the current war between the Boston Tea Party and TWSS. I'm going to play a few replays as we discuss the topic at hand. Now, this is not an official guide, so um, it's not like like I've got a script in front of me and I'm going to just recite something to you. I'm just going to share my thoughts on the different upgrading strategies. So the first thing that I think you need to understand is what war weight is. Okay, so war weight is what determines your ranking in war. It's determined by your defenses primarily. I mean, the offense, your hero levels, uh, your, your laboratory, everything, it, it does account into your war weight, but your defenses are primarily what determines your war weight. So <clears throat> what um, needs to be understood is the, uh, the, the advantage and disadvantage of specific upgrading strategies on your war weight. So I think the first one that I'd like to talk about is ethical upgrading, and that is something that I severely, obviously, am biased for on the channel. I have recently updated, or yeah, updated all of my upgrade strategy guides for war players, and they all reflect the uh, ethical upgrading strategy. So what is the ethical upgrading strategy? Well, to be honest with you guys, it is what I consider to be the best strategy for upgrading your base if you want a balance of both offense and defense on your base. If you're a completionist, which is a, a fancy word for somebody that likes to just conquer games and, and you know find everything and finish every level and beat every boss and all that stuff, not Clash of Clans, obviously, but just in any game, then you're going to want to max out every town hall level. And this is what I recommend. This is something that I highly recommend that you do for that purpose because ethical upgrading is going to highly prioritize both offense and defense. Now, for those of you that don't know the difference, offense is your ability to attack a base. Defense is your ability to defend your loot and defend against the three-star in war. So ethically upgrading means you're going to max out your previous town hall before you go to the next town hall. So let's say you're a town hall nine, right? If you want to follow an upgrading strategy like ethical upgrading, you're going to max out that town hall first. You're going to get all of your walls to level, I think that's level 10. You're going to take your archer queen and your barbarian king to level 30. And you're going to finish up all of the lab projects in your laboratory until it is done. This is a highly recommended upgrading strategy for war players that want to be in a in a uh, a fair play war clan that's going to be matching up in in you know friendly warring against other clans. Let me find us another replay to watch while I talk. So, <clears throat> ethical upgrading is what I consider a balance between offense and defense. Now, you're going to be starting out, you're going to start with a push of offense first just to get you understanding attacking as a Town Hall 10 or 9 or 8 or whatever your new Town Hall level is. But at the end of the day, ethical upgrading is maxing out every Town Hall level. Now, down was easy to understand. But what about rushing? I think rushing would be the next good subject of conversation. Rushing is under-prioritizing offense and over-prioritizing defense. So you can rush by going to the next town hall level before you max out your base. That is, it depends on what you didn't max out. So for instance, so let's say you are a town hall 9, you got level 15 archer queen and level 10 barbarian king, okay? Sub max heroes. Your laboratory is not done, but hey, you know what? You've got your expos to level 3, you got about half your wizard towers, you got about half your archer towers, but you did finish all of your cannons and your mortars, you're, you're good. You decide, you know what? I don't have time to wait around. You go ahead and you upgrade to town hall 10. Now, 
because you did not max out your king and your queen, and because you did not max out your laboratory, you are what the Clash of Clans community calls rushed. Now, there are advantages and disadvantages to rushing. Um, the advantages to rushing is upgrading your defenses early is going to help you defend your loot better. You know, that's a good, that's a good point. Um, uh, that's why so many people that don't war, so many people that farm only in the game, that's why a lot of them rush because they, they feel like, you know what, if I can get the Inferno Tower sooner, I'll protect my loot better. However, Whenever you upgrade and you have an inferior offense and a higher defense, that means you're going to have a higher war weight and your ranking in war is going to be high. And so with your sub-max king and queen and your sub-max troops in the laboratory, you're not going to be able to attack other uh, bases that you're ranked up against. So that's a disadvantage of, run or of uh, rushing. You have a less... You have a... a Weaker offense, but stronger defense. And rushing can certainly be corrected, guys. Um, I've actually got a rushing uh, uh, series going right now. So if you want to know how to recover a rushed base, um, you can definitely check out that playlist. It is on the channel. But um, in, a, in a nutshell, guys, rushing an account is simply overemphasizing off, or defense and not upgrading or underemphasizing offense. But there's another side to the story, and that's people who overemphasize offense and underemphasize defense. This is called engineering. Engineering is the type of base that you see, let's say, at Town Hall 11, right? You, you've probably seen these before at one point or another. It's a Town Hall 11 with one cannon. And that's it. No other defenses. They probably have traps and Teslas, but they don't have an, any more cannons, arch towers, expos, infernos, anything like that. They have uh, likely max heroes, max laboratory. Why would anybody do that? Well, the advantage of engineering your base, which means, again, underdeveloping your defense, overdeveloping your offense, is you're going to have a low war weight. It's going to keep you low in the war ranking. Therefore, you're able to draw in a weaker opponent in war and you can three star them easier. However, because you have an underdeveloped defense, you are an easier target to three star. It's very, very difficult to keep your loot as a town hall or as a as a engineered base, no matter what town hall level you are. So the advantage, again, for an engineered base is you can attack really, really well. You can attack up 25 ranks if you want to in war. However, you're going to get three-starred in war like that, and um, you're not going to be able to hold on to your loot very well in multiplayer as a, as a, in a farming situation. That's why you don't see farmers that engineer. Usually you see the, 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 the hardcore war players um, that are interested in only winning wars nonstop. Those are the ones that end up engineering. Now, uh, let me recap that one more time, and I'll throw up some sort of overall uh, summary statement on the screen right now, covering the three different strategies. The first one we talked about was ethical upgrading, in which you max out both. The advantages of that is that you're emphasizing both defense and offense, making you more difficult to three-star in war. You're able to uh, manage your war weight better in attacking. The disadvantage is that you do take a very long time to max out every town hall level. It probably is a, uh, a less efficient way to do it in a in a, as far as time is concerned however the uh the typical like serious war clan um they're going to require this type of upgrading strategy where you've maxed out your previous town hall and you prioritize offense at the beginning and eventually max out your defense as well at your current town hall the second one we talked about let me pull up one more uh, one more attack for you guys the second uh, strategy that we talked about was rushing. And rushing is whenever a player overemphasizes defense and underemphasizes offense. So, for instance, you've got a low queen, but your, your ex bows are too high, or you go to Town Hall 10 before your, your, 
your heroes are maxed out or or whatever. The advantage of that is you defend your loot a heck of a lot better. It's it's actually a good strategy if you're not going to play the game very often. However, it's going to give you a high war weight and you're going to have a hard time three-starring your mirror in war. As well as if you rush too hard, like in my rush series, it's going to be harder for you to find loot. So rushing is a dangerous game. It has a place, but it, again, it's a dangerous game. And then the third strategy that we discussed, guys, are engineered bases. Again, overemphasizing offense, underemphasizing, underdeveloping defense, giving them a low war weight, allowing them to hit very, very high. But every single time somebody attacks them in multiplayer, they get three starred. They lose all of their loot all the time. Now, I happen to know, not from statistics, but from logic that engineers, uh, typically a serious engineered clan account holder is going to spend a lot of gems to get there. So uh, it's, it's an expensive strategy as well, especially if you're going to be buying shields nonstop. But the advantage is you can look like a boss. I mean, you're going to be ranked at the bottom and you're going to be able to attack way up. So it, it depends on you. It depends on your clan. It depends on whether you're a serious war player or a farmer or even a trophy pusher. You do need defense for trophy pushing generally. It is up to you as the player to decide what your priorities are and how you want to develop your base. But overall, there's no wrong way. None of these three strategies have been proven to be cheating. However, the engineered uh, strategy is definitely dominant in uh, in war clans right now. Uh, and it's uh, it's it, it 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 rubs some people the wrong way because there's really no way to compete with that. Uh, but that is just opinion. Uh, overall, guys, again, none of these strategies are cheating. My opinion of the matter is ethical upgrading is the best one, but you do as you want. I just wanted this discussion to be very informative for my subscribers. I've been asked the question many times, what's a rushed account? What's an engineered account? What's ethical upgrading? What's war weight? And I hope that this uh, quick discussionary guide can help you understand all of that. And if you have any further questions, please post them down in the comment section below. I would love to be able to help you out, whether in the comment sections um, or other other uh, subscribers and viewers helping you, or if it, um, if it needs a video in itself. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today. I feel like we covered the uh, the subject fairly well again I don't recommend doing the rushing or the engineering but it's your game do what you want but if you want to be a part of the Boston Tea Party or the Legacy or Knights of Zion or any of the UWA clans and we do require the ethical upgrading strategy because we are a fair play war clan who who is uh he we want to prioritize both offense and defense equally but anyway, guys, that is it for me. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the attacks. I didn't even pay attention to them, uh, but they were good because they were three stars. Like the video if you liked. Subscribe if you're not joined the class family. And I will see you all next time.